What are some important findings to note? Mm -hmm. Well, the study was motivated by um, our personal experience with the pandemic and talking with others and hearing the discourse around it. And it sort of posed this question for us. As the country went under lockdown, care work and housework and this sort of unpaid labor, which has been invisible for the most part, um, to largely fathers who devote more time to the workplace than mothers, now has become highly visible, right? You can't ignore it when both um, work, when both parents and all workers are at home and seeing it firsthand. So that increased visibility of unpaid labor um, poses this question to us. Is the lockdown of the pandemic going to improve gender equality at home as fathers see this unpaid labor firsthand and then maybe they're motivated to contribute more? Or is it actually gonna exacerbate pre-existing inequalities in the household that we saw for decades, right? Pretty much history prior to the pandemic. So following the same families that were surveyed in the current population survey from February, which was really before the pandemic hit in the US to April, which was the height of the first peak of the pandemic during um, when most places in the US were under lockdown, we unfortunately saw um, that the pandemic was associated with an ex exacerbation of gender inequality in the household as mothers work hours. Now, these are mothers who have remained employed, reduced four to five times more than fathers work hours who remained employed during that period of time. And it's interesting because, as you're mentioning, parents in the United States have nearly doubled the time that they were spending on education and household tasks before the coronavirus outbreak. You're looking at 59 hours now per week compared to 30, with mothers spending 15 hours more on average than fathers. That's according to Boston Consulting Group. What does that added responsibility not just do to the family dynamic, but also their standard of living? Absolutely. So. Um, the study by the Boston Consulting Group found that mothers are devoting 15 more hours a week to that unpaid labor of homeschooling, of taking care of now, right? There's lunches to make, there's many more messes in the house as children are home much more than they ever had them before. So they're putting in way more time um, in that unpaid labor, and that's coming at, at the expense of their paid labor. But they're, we found that their paid labor um, was reduced really by um, anywhere from two to three hours a week, which is a lot in the grand scheme of things. Right. But that only takes up a fraction of that 15-hour increase in unpaid labor found by the Boston Consulting Group. So ultimately, this just means there's so much more work to be done. And most of that work, particularly the unpaid work, which is socially undervalued in this country, is falling on mothers with detrimental effects on their well-being, mental health, sleep patterns, et cetera. So then looking at the gains that women were making in the U.S. labor force, as we look at the job losses and some of the jobs returning, well, are we really going to see that same trend continuing post-pandemic? Mm -hmm. Well, the short answer to that is it depends. We're sort of at a turning point now. Congress has been debating stimulus plans and how we're going to get out of these challenges now for months, for most recently weeks. And it really depends on what kind of plans we put in place. We know from previous research that care infrastructure that supports families' caregiving needs, particularly childcare infrastructure, supports mothers' employment. It's incontrovertible evidence that's out there now. The extent that we can make a public investment in childcare institutions like Head Start and childcare subsidies, which support those mothers that need it the most, as well as expanding our offerings to pre-K and other child care centers to offer those support to a broader um, population of mothers is going to really pay dividends in increasing women's labor force participation after this pandemic. All right, we do appreciate your insights. William Scarborough there, Assistant Professor in the Department of Sociology at the University of North Texas.